We're Today talking we are about, talking about comedians, comedians as a, as a force, force for change, social for change. social change. And, and change. that's and important. important. And why it's important. All that and more on today's BFD. Here at BFD, we think of comedians as an agent for social change. And it's not really that surprising an idea when you think about guys like George Carlin or Bill Hicks or Jon Stewart, who are somewhat famous for their overt political or social jokes. But then there's a whole other bunch of comedians out there who just talk about the way they see the world and sort of implicitly plant the seeds of change. We're going to figure it all out on today's BFD. All right, today I'm joined by my friends and comedians, Dave Holmes and Matt Bronger. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. So do you agree with the following statement? Comedy can be used for social change. Secretly, yes. Secretly, yes? Yes. I, I do think that it can. I feel like when it's overtly something that is, uh, that is being used as a tool for social change, it can be very didactic and boring. But I think, you know, when you sort of have a little bit of an agenda and you just want to tell a story and your first objective is to make people laugh, then yeah. yeah. But what you're saying sort of initially is that when it is sort of too preachy from the outset, oh, then, yeah. it, then, it, then it sort of fails. Yes. I hope that n comedians don't start getting a reputation for no. being world changers. That'd yeah, be that'd gross. Be, that'd be gross. <laughs> that'd be really gross. And then the worst people would start getting into oh, it. Oh, yeah. If yeah. I were to turn around and start wearing swami robes and holding my arms out like Christ to <laughs> audiences and blessing them with my jokes, yeah. I would hope I'd be assassinated. Any people that sort of spring to your mind or others that inspired you to be uh, either a comedian or to be sort of know, a socially conscious one. Well, there, there's a guy uh, who unfortunately just passed away named Scott Kennedy, yeah. who was an openly gay comic who made a point of doing USO shows for, you know, for the troops in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. He kind of snuck in a little bit um, by being like a schlubby guy, you know, like audiences would see him, troops would see him, they would uh, kind of mentally make up their minds about him, and then halfway through the set, uh, the gay material would start. It's like this idea of subverting people's expectations or stereotypes regarding either that person, but they're doing it because they're winning them over with humor. The comedian's job is to bring the audience into their heads and have them look at the world through their eyes. Recently, uh, did some interviews with with millennials and it, like now, uh, right, right, exactly, sure, yeah. Yeah. kids, uh, kids, yeah. Uh, w one of the things we were, we were asking them about was their sort of take on on the news and who they get their news sources from and. They, you know, time and again said John Stewart, Stephen Colbert. Yeah, because they're comedy shows that happen to be news shows. Right. These kids don't watch the news. <laughs> they're right. not Why getting they? their news from some other source yeah. ever before that time. You know what I mean? The news is not fun to watch, you right. know, as handsome as Brian Williams is. Do comedians get a fair shake as social changers? Do you ever read YoIsThisRacist.com? Yes. Genius. Very fun. Uh, it's Very it's fun. a it's a website and a podcast wherein people ask questions about just like things that they've come across in life, and they're like, "Is is this racist?" Like mm -hmm. you know, like this Museum of Southern Heritage or whatever. Yeah. Is it is that racist? Yeah, yeah. And the answer is almost always, "Yeah, that's racist." And it's always funny, and it, I always learn something. It always sort of widens my like yeah. my perspective just a tiny bit, but not in a way that's like you know that he thinks he's the Messiah sure. or whatever. You think the technology is making comedy more? I don't know strong, um, certainly more pervasive with, with the internet. And it, it can empower people, I, I guess, with an audience that might not fit into a corporate media structure. You know, you know who's doing that? Rob Delaney is doing that really well. And, yeah. he, and he's, he does it with, you know, 75% uh, vagina jokes and then 25% kind of strong social messages that are, yeah. that are, again, never like didactic, but always really pointed and really funny. If you read a handful of his tweets, you know where he stands. I realized at the, at the onset of this, I said we weren't gonna get all heady and stuff, but how would you define comedy? Do you consider it an art form? I like to consider it low art, you know, in a lot of ways, not as low as like porn. It's hard to define, yeah. you know? I mean, when you'll see a stand-up doing straight up jokes and then people will, a guy will come up and tell stories. This guy sings funny songs. I like that it's kind of undefinable. You know, right. I, I really like that. Again, it's kind of like porn, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of undefinable. It's I like, said it's not. No, I think it's. Like I think it's kind of like porn. three minutes ago. I, I think. I think it kind of is. You know, it's like you know what you like when you see it, and then it sort of that's evades. True. Uh, there's there's exactly dirtier exactly kinds. There's friendlier kinds. Exactly. There's kind that's that's mean. Well, thanks so much for uh, for coming along and answering my questions, guys. Much sure. obliged. It was a lot Thank of fun. You. Well, are comedians a force for social change? It seems like yes, but they don't really want to admit it. In any case, they're still funny. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking to a whole bunch of different comedians. And if you have a favorite or two, list their names in the comments below. For BFD, I'm David Park. Don't forget to subscribe.